This is 2010 Ford F-150 Crew Cab with a 5.4 and a 6-speed transmission. I'm going to be changing the transmission fluid in it. Transmission has a rectangular pan and uses the Mercon LV fluid only. Only, no substitutes from Ford. The transmission pan is rectangular on a six speed. The four speed is more square. And on the passenger corner next to the exhaust is the fill and check plug. I'll let it run about five minutes. The transmission pan's lukewarm, so the fluid will help drain out of it faster. The pan has eight millimeter bolts around its perimeter. It needs to be taken loose. I've, I've put the truck up on the ramps to get a little more clearance. I took a 19 millimeter and broke that fill plug loose. It's kind of sticky and loosened up a few turns. There may or may not be some transmission fluid waiting under it with it not running. But I just loosened it up some. I set a big drain pan underneath the transmission. On the back six bolts, I'll be using a quarter inch drive ratchet with an eight millimeter. If the bolt heads aren't too rusty, I'll, I'll switch to a five sixteenths to fit the, Be sure you put the socket on the head of the bolts, on the, especially if they're rusty, solid and square, and then break them loose in the back before transmission fluid gets all over them. And then, then go ahead and start taking the front loose. But, be sure you keep this socket square against the bolt heads. You don't want to round the head off of the ones particularly above the exhaust pipe in the back. There'll be something else to get out. I'm going to start taking the front bolts loose and work my way back. Try and keep it off the exhaust some. Um, the exhaust is still hot from it running, so I don't want to get burned on it. I started taking the bolts out from the middle front and worked down the opposite side I'm laying on back to the last two bolts or so I just loosen that one it's still not dripping or anything but have a pan ready for when it does If the bolt heads are really super rusty, I probably should go ahead and use a 5 16 and 7 8 millimeter to keep from stripping them out, possibly. And look your oil pan over for any major scabs. And put some paint on that. Just slightly sand it a little bit. Don't poke at it, you may go on through it. But inevitably will have to be changed anyway. Check your ground wire on the starter, make sure it's not all cruded up. Rusty. I got about halfway back on this side and the pan just dropped. I always leave at least one bolt loose in the front to catch it in case something like that happens. Because you'll get a face full of it. Let that settle down some. Finish taking them out. 
and never really gets on exhaust. Now that the draining slowed, I'll go around the other side and finish taking the last couple down the back off. And then them bolts broke loose, they should come right on out of there without too much effort. I'm worried of tearing them up because they're all greasy now. Feel free to hold up on the pan and reseal it temporarily if you get in some hard spots and you want to slow the rain of fluid tear from pouring down your arm while you get some more of the bolts. I just got three left on this this side and one up on the front. One bolt left in the middle. Be advised there's a bunch of fluid waiting in the pan to get you. Hmm, that's weird. The filter came down with the pan. Yeah, uh, that's weird. I guess it was shrunk up. It was due to be changed. Well, it looks pretty good in the pan. Fluid's grungy and dark. Not too much debris on the magnet. Typical wear. No chunks in the pan. The fluid is kind of dark, so it's definitely getting wore out. And a lot of a lot of clutch pack. Normal wear in it. I'm going to take some brake cleaner and wash this pan off and clean this magnet. It goes to the back. Pull that magnet up. Take a rag and wipe all the metal debris off of it. Normal. Clean this gasket. It's totally reusable unless it's torn someplace. And clean all the bolts up. I'm going to go ahead and remove this fill stick plug. Get the fill stick out of the way. fluid level stick out of the way. Now I'll take some brake cleaner and just generally wash the valve body off and the solenoids in the case. Then clean the transmission pan. Be advised that this stick comes out of this plug so don't drop it or break it or lose it. With the drain pan under there, I'm going to catch all the fluid to drain out of the pan so I can put near that back into it and not have to deal so much with setting the fluid level to run the first flush through it. So if you don't want to go through all the fancy procedures, catch all the fluid and put that exact amount back into it, plus any little bit it might have been spilled. Taking a utility knife and scrape the oxidation from the aluminum off of the edge of the gasket so it won't be holding holding the pan up off of the rubber seal in the middle. Be sure not to cut that rubber seal, but that oxidation needs scraped off. I'd take a drill brush and run over the pan sealing surface. It's had a lot of that aluminum oxidation transferred to it. It was really hard on there. Anything sticking up needs to be removed. Any bolt holes higher than flat needs to be tapped back down flat. And don't forget to stick the magnet back on it after you've cleaned it off. And lay this pan gasket back on it. It only fits one way. Alright, 21 holes, 
21 bolts and brake cleaner, new filter. I'm going to wipe the surface of the transmission down with a lint free rag, the sealing surface. Stick this filter up there with some fresh transmission fluid on this seal. Make sure the old seal is out of the transmission. And then start putting the bolts in a pan from about the center or diagonal out. Make sure all the gristles off your gasket and pan. And if needed, scrape the gristle off the transmission case where the seal is going to be. I'm just going to be lightly scraping along the transmission case with a utility knife blade and some 320 grit sandpaper. Be sure not to gouge the case or you'll have a problem. If you're going to use a blade, if you haven't used a blade, I would recommend just using a 320 to knock the high points off of the gristle on the bottom of the ceiling area. Okay, it looks pretty good. Nothing major sticking up. Make sure your replacement filter is equivalent, at least to the original. And I'll go ahead and fish the pan back to up there while the side cover, the side case is still dry, mostly. Mouse over the video and hit the circle I to continue to part two of the video.